A Chicago suburb cancels a controversial event after criticism. An unfortunate incident forces a Delta plane to turn around mid-flight. The changing of fall leaves might be different this year, and a surprising discovery came out involving the teacher's union president and the school her child is enrolled in. I'm Lexi Suter, and this is The Rundown. Highland Park canceled a so-called poverty simulation after social media commenters criticized the planned event. It would have offered residents a roughly two-hour workshop aiming to teach them about the difficulties of living in poverty. Some called the plans tone deaf, and the city later decided to cancel the event after public feedback. One of the biggest travel nightmares came true on a Delta Airlines flight when a passenger's diarrhea forced a flight to turn around. The pilot told air traffic control the passenger had diarrhea throughout the plane and that it had to become a biohazard issue. Delta did confirm a medical incident forced the flight to turn back. Well, if you were excited for the changing of the leaves this fall, it turns out the peak colors might not last as long as you'd expect thanks to recent weather conditions. Our storm team meteorologists say the lack of rain recently. That's because drier leaves fall from trees faster. That could mean the time for seeing peak fall colors is cut in half this year. And COVID cases have been rising, so what should you do if you test positive? The guidelines haven't changed since May, but if you need a refresher on isolating, testing, and more, we've got you covered. A reminder that anyone who tests positive is advised to stay home for at least five days, but that number could be higher depending on your symptoms. We've got a full guide at our link in the bio. And there are plenty of other headlines you may have missed this week. We learned that Chicago Teachers Union President Stacey Davis Gates enrolled her oldest child in private school, despite her vocal opposition to funding private schools. Gates says the decision was made to help her son fulfill his soccer goals and offer him a better education. We're just one month away from the iconic Bank of Chicago Marathon, and the hype is really ramping up. The Taste of Chicago kicks off its new time this year after the NASCAR street race forced it to shift to September. Portillo's is bringing back a fan favorite item this fall. And if you have an iPhone or an iPad, Apple wants you to update it immediately after a security flaw was discovered. And an epic moment during Pearl Jam's United Center show on Thursday, former Blackhawks captain Chris Chelios was surprised on stage with news that his jersey was being retired. Talk about a wow moment. And we can't wrap up this without noting the Bears-Packers game this weekend. We had everyone's favorite coach on to give us a look at what to expect. No Aaron Rodgers, no Brett Favre, you know, so there's a lot of optimism, and there should be. Yeah. I mean, the Bears are definitely going to be a better football team. I mean, I've been up to several practices watching them. Uh, they, they're a young football team, JC, but there's a lot of energy yeah. and a lot of upside. That's all for now, but stay tuned with us throughout the weekend. We have you covered. And, hey, go Bears. Have a good one.